Hi, I'm Vivian Williams for the Mayo Clinic News Network. Summertime is a great time to get outside and enjoy nature, but it's also a good time to pay attention to ticks. These things now to protect you against tick-borne diseases. The Mayo Clinic Department of Laboratory Medicine and Pathology and Mayo Medical Laboratories had developed the ABCs of ticks. Now, Dr. Bobby Pritt is the director of the Clinical Parasitology Laboratory at Mayo, and she's going to explain to us about the ABCs, but first she's going to tell us what a tick is. A tick is an arachnid, which is similar to a mite or a spider. Ticks are not actually insects, which most people don't know. They don't know that. I did not know that. Tell me about the ABC tool. What is this? They are interactive flashcards. They're online. Anyone can access them. And as you hover over A through Z, you get useful information about ticks. Wonderful. Let's start with the ABCs and kind of tell us what each one stands for. Yes, that's a great place to start. A is for avoid, and that would be to avoid areas where ticks are found. That would be tall grasses, shrubs, and bushes. B is for bug spray. That's bug repellent, preferably a repellent that contains 30% DEET, or you can spray permethrin on your clothing. You want to keep the ticks off of you so they don't bite you. Right. And then C is clothing. When practical, when it's not too hot, wearing long pants tucked into your socks or long sleeves can help give less areas for the ticks to bite. Now we don't have it up here, but let's talk about D because that stands for diseases. Yes, that's very important. That's why we worry about ticks to begin with. So I actually have the card right here. So there are different diseases that you can get after a tick bite, depending on the region of the country that you live in. So in the upper Midwest and the upper Northeast, big tick-borne diseases include Lyme disease, anaplasmosis, and babesiosis. And this slide actually shows babesiosis. Ah, okay. So if you find a tick, what should you do? A tick that's attached to you? The best thing to do is to remove it as quickly as possible. And to do that, you want to use fine-tipped forceps, and you want to go as close to the skin as possible, and then pull the tick out using the forceps, being careful not to crush or squeeze the tick in the process. What you do want to avoid is some of the folk remedies like petroleum jelly or matches that could just injure yourself, the tick, and possibly increase the risk of infection. Maybe even stick it in a little jar, take to your doctor, you just could. say what kind it is, mm -hmm. maybe, if you can stand looking at it. So Dr. Pritt, where can we go to find this tool online? MayoMedicalLaboratories.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. And for more health news, go to the Mayo Clinic News Network. I'm Vivian Williams.